When you first get your Windows PC, you, when you first load it up and you're you know first getting used to it, you'll notice that there's a lot of bloatware on your computer. There's a bunch of you know apps that you know like free games installed on your PC. Some apps that aren't you know native apps are already installed on your PC, as well as these pop-ups that come up, giving constantly giving you tips and things like that, which sort of you know bloat up the system and make it like don't make it really clean. So in this video, I want to show you how you can basically make Windows very clean in terms of removing all of these sort of unnecessary apps that come along, as well as just, you know, making it very clean, getting rid of those pop-ups and anything else. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, guys, um, let's get on with making our Windows much more cleaner. So the number one thing I have in terms of deleting your apps, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just go ahead and delete your apps. So how you do that easily using the Windows sort of start pane here is just, you know, go to whatever app. So let's say, you know, um, you, you might, there's usually some games installed by default. All you really need to do is right click and then hit install from there. And that's really it. And if that does not seem to be working, all you need to do is go add or remove programs. Just search up add or remove and then this pop-up should come up in your search bar. And it should be loading up some of the apps soon. Yep, there we go. That took a bit of time. My PC is, you know, it's getting on. Uh, the storage is getting a bit bottlenecked because I've been using it so much and very little space. But as you guys can see, once it loads up, you can sort of go through all the programs. And this is where you can sort of make sure that, you know, hey, like, is this an app that I installed? You know, what's going on? Like, there are certain things that I uh, guess C++, like that's by Microsoft and that's like programming stuff and things like that that you sort of need to run many different apps. But if you don't recognize something, you might want to, you know, check on the internet first, whether it's not something integrated with Windows yourself, itself. Usually those type of things don't show up here, but you always just want to make sure. And if you can see that, you know, this isn't something that's core to Windows and it's just like an external app and you don't recognize it at all, you probably want to get rid of it. You know, it might have been um, just installed through some other program. As many programs just, especially free programs, just install a bunch of other programs since they are free and they just try to build up your computer, right? So you might have a game like this and you just want to hit it and just hit install, right? And that's pretty much the first step. So the next tip we can take right from the settings is actually going in home, is going under personalization. And what you want to do is go under the lock screen. So, you know, whenever you open your laptop, you keep getting these tips and things like that from Windows. Like, hey, like, look at this tip regarding the calendar. Look at this tip regarding mail. Look how you can accomplish more and whatnot. But I just find it really sort of, you know, just, it's just, it just bloats your, your computer. Whereas if you have them turned off, it's just so much more of a clean feel. So you probably have this turned on by default. So I'd really recommend you close it. And as well as which apps can show you, um, uh, quick status, I would really just limit this to a few apps. I just keep it on calendar to see what calendar events I may have. But apart from that, I really try and just keep it clean. And if I actually go to the start, this is another area where you can make things clean. Instead of showing more tiles, showing a whole bunch of stuff, most used apps show suggestions again. You know, these things I just like to turn off because you know, if I want to use an app, I can just search it up and use it. I don't need Windows constantly recommending which apps I should open and things like that. So that's primarily it. And in terms of taskbar, one other thing that I like to do is actually just make sure that, you know, sometimes you have something like this, but what I do is just go here and always hide labels. And if you guys want to learn how to make your taskbar, like customize it more and make it even more clean, like centering your icons and things like that, check out the you know, video we made in the description below. It's a great video regarding that. Okay guys, so the next area where you can actually clean things up is in the notification section. So as you guys can see in the side, I sort of have this focus assist thing on it and I just keep it on all the time because Windows has so many different, you know, annoying sort of things that they throw at you, which you can actually configure. You can actually say, turn off all notifications for a particular thing or turn off all notifications for me, all right? And that makes things this panel significantly better. And you can only have them turned off for a couple of things. I think I only have it turned on for my Google Calendar actually. 
and things like that. But all you guys need to do is turn on focus assist by E. Also, you can clear this up. And there's a couple quick settings here. And as well, you guys can turn off get notification with other apps and senders. And this is just so much um, cleaner in terms of getting you sort of no distractions and no sort of, you know, popping up, things like that. And just to make sure that doesn't happen. And one last tip that I have is in terms of control panel, what you guys can do is go on task manager. And you know, when you start up your laptop, there's so many pop-ups. Um, I used to get this printer pop-up that keeps saying like, do you want to print every time from Canon or whatever printer you have. And you can actually easily solve this by, okay, so you'll probably actually go on this view. I want to hit more details. And what you guys actually want to do to get rid of those pop-ups is go to startup and whatever apps that you guys sort of see, disable them if you do not really need them at startup. So the only thing I have enabled is a OneDrive and that's because it syncs up all my files and things like that. But for things like, I don't know, Epic Games, that sort of just runs in the background and slows up your boot time and sort of loads it up. As well as the Canon Quick menu access that I was talking about, it sort of just comes up in like the bottom left here and it's just super annoying, right? So I just like to get rid of that. And one last final tip is in terms of the taskbar, I really move most of these icons to the right because I really like just not having too much stuff here. I just want to have the very important things. Actually, um, like, you know, the volume, the battery, and the Wi-Fi. That's really all I need personally. And this is just really clean. And one last thing I actually want to show you guys is you guys can see this looks really like just a lot of stuff, right? So one quick tip you guys can do is right click on the desktop, uh, not not on an icon or something like this, because this will open up a different thing. So you want to click somewhere that there's not a, you know, a shortcut. And then what you guys want to do is go here and click align icon signature. Just one thing you guys can do to make it super easy. You can do auto arrange, which makes this really much cleaner. But what I like to do most of the time, especially when I'm you know in the zone or you just really want to clean sort of experience, I just go ahead turn off your desktop icons and you guys can see that just looks so much cleaner. Right, that, that, like this desktop is like so clean as you guys can see. No pop-ups, nothing coming up. This is just, this is perfect, no sort of, no distraction workspace that you, I personally would very much prefer any laptop to be in. And whenever I get a new laptop, I immediately sort of do these kind of things to make it most, um, you know, sort of distraction free and sort of make this workspace mine because Let's be real, we interact with our electronic devices, especially like our laptops and things like that, so many hours per day. So it's just very important to have a nice, clean setup going on. So that's been it for this video, guys. Let me know if you guys have any additional sort of tips on making Windows even more cleaner without having to download additional stuff and things like that. And if you guys dislike the video, let us know why and how we can improve. But that's been it for me. Peace.